In the last month, two hurricanes have caused widespread damage to the southeast of the United States. First, Hurricane Helene landed along Florida's coastline. This intense storm swept through six states. Buildings were destroyed as wind speeds reached 140 miles per hour. And an estimated 40 million tons of rainwater caused severe flooding. The storm was so large, it could be seen from space. Although many residents were able to evacuate to safety, sadly over 200 people lost their lives. Just as cleanup operations began, another hurricane warning was issued. Very dangerous Hurricane Milton uh, rapidly approaching the west coast of the Florida Peninsula with multiple life-threatening hazards. And please escape now while you still can if you've been asked to leave. Like many hurricanes, Milton developed in the Gulf of Mexico, where warm sea temperatures powered the storm. In just 24 hours, Milton intensified from a Category 1 hurricane with wind speeds of 60 miles per hour to a Category 5, the highest possible category, with wind speeds of 175 miles per hour. Storm categories can change over time, and by the time Hurricane Milton made landfall, it had weakened to a Category 3 hurricane. But it was still very destructive. The hurricane's heavy winds caused power outages for over 3 million people and also ripped the roof off a large baseball stadium. As affected areas begin trying to recover, forecasters continue to watch for potential future storms, helping to keep people prepared for these devastating events. Thanks for watching this week's Twig Science Reporter. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you never miss our weekly episodes.